Hey y'all, so today I am doing a, or running a soil test um, for sand, silt, and clay. Uh, so the best type of soil to plant in is a loamy soil, which is a combination of sand, silt, and clay, but uh, you want you typically want equal parts uh, sand uh, and silt and a little bit of clay just to help hold moisture. But uh, so what I've done here is I have already amended one of the beds in the high tunnel uh, for planting certain plants uh, that should get here this week and I will let you, I'll definitely do a video on that. But I took a jar and filled it up about halfway full with the uh, amended soil that I had put in there and then filled it up with some water, put a lid on it, and I'm just going to shake it. Um, this is going to take a couple hours for everything to settle out, but the biggest thing is, is there's a chart, which I'll show you later on in this video, of what... Uh, where where you can make improvements at so typically here uh, in North Carolina we have what is sandy loam soil if you get closer to the mountains it'll it'll be more like clay um, but I'm I'm in I'm in the eastern part of the Piedmont region of North Carolina uh, so there's a lot of sand here. So the biggest thing is, is that you need to add, um, organic material. And I knew that the bed that I had, uh, already was a sandy loam. Um, and I will definitely show you pictures of the test that I did on that before I made amendments. But, uh, yeah, so jar of soil and water, and you can already kind of see that the sand is settling out. Uh, sand is gonna sink first, then the uh, silt, and then the clay will be on top of that. But you can see there, the sand is already starting to settle out there um, because that's gonna be the heaviest. Then uh, what we do is we gather uh, or we measure the height of what has settled out and do percentages. And we'll, uh, we'll touch base with that. Um, so this is the test that I'm doing that has um, after I've already made amendments to the soil. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what has changed. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Here's the first sample in the high tunnel. You can see three distinct layers that have settled out in the jar. You have sand at the bottom, silt in the middle, and clay on top. First, you get a total measurement from the bottom of the sand to the top of the clay. Then you measure each individual layer, sand at 27 millimeters, silt at 12 millimeters, and clay at three millimeters. To figure out the percentage, you take the width of each layer, divide that by the total height, and times that by 100. Clay at 7.14%, silt at 28.57%, and sand at 64.28%. This chart is called a soil texture triangle. Starting with clay, 
you draw a line at the correct percentage shown here in green. Now you draw a line for sand shown here in red. And finally, you draw a line for silt shown here in blue. Where all the lines intersect will tell you which type of soil you have just ran a test on. Okay, so that's how you determine the um, levels of what type of soil you have in your, or wherever you're planting and whatnot. So um, now here is the video or a clip or image of the um, test after the amendments that I've done. So yeah, check it out. Here's a picture of the soil that has settled for about eight hours. You can see that the percentages have changed. Clay at four millimeters, silt at 16 millimeters, and sand at 25. Okay, so you can see that the percentages have changed and now together we're going to do um, the soil texture chart uh, or, and determine what has happened uh, to the soil that after I've made amendments. So with the amendments that I did, I added um, composted hardwood mulch and um, regular commercial compost and uh, some sand to the bed and then ran the sample on this is where we are at now so check it out okay here's the soil texture chart and with the percentages of the new soil type um, we're going to draw a line from uh, where the clay was now at 8.8%, so about there, and then change it to red. Um, so clay, we got that one. Now we have uh, sand, which sand is now at 55.4%. Five seven percent. So let's see, sand uh, fifty five. We'll just say here. And then for the silt, we have. 35.55%. So between 30 and 40 on the silt. So there we go. That is now the uh, location or on the diagram where my soil amendments have moved to. Uh, earlier we were over here, but now that I have made the amendments, we have moved over to closer to the loam soil. This is the area where I want to be in the soil. Um, but yeah, uh, I can't really do much more amendments now, um, but I am moving in the right direction of to getting it in loamy soil. 
And yeah, so uh, like I said, I had moved over from about here to here. So we're moving in the right direction. I may have to add a little more clay to the soil to rise to raise this line up some and then more organic materials or silt to move it over so i hope i didn't bore you too much um i needed to figure out exactly what type of soil i had and uh, for a plant that i'm specifically planting uh, for the uh, that should be delivered later this week. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask and I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.